<laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Listen to this. So one day I was just chilling, thinking, what am I going to do tonight? Then I think about this skate park. I haven't been there for a while, and there's some stuff I want to try. So I get my dickies on, grab my board, and jump in the car to head down. So I'm driving, and I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I'm feeling pretty adventurous today. Why not branch out a little? Plus, no one is going to be there today, I don't think. Anyways, I pull up, and there's like seven people there, of course. I begin to get nervous and wonder if I should just, like, drive back or what. But no. I'm here, and I want to skate. So I grab my board, get out of the car, lock the door, and begin to walk. Throw my water down and push off, hoping to God that I don't look like an idiot and fall down like a klutz. <laughs> so there's this bowl where you can drop in, and it kept grabbing my attention. I thought, I can't right now. There's too many people here, and I don't want to fall. But I roll up. Consider it then immediately pussy out. An hour later, I'm the last one left. It's kind of late, getting dark, and I think I should head out. But this is it. It's my opportunity. Hell, what do I have to lose? Ten seconds later, I'm at the top of the bowl, about to drop in. I'm feeling pretty good and thinking that there's nothing to lose. I mean, I'm wearing dickies for a reason. So I count down. Three, two, one. No, no, no. I can't. But no, this is the whole reason I'm here, so screw it. Here goes nothing. I'm sailing. My hair was flying back. I felt like a freaking cheetah was going so fast. It was until a brief moment I went flying through the air, off of the board and onto my arms. Of all the spots to put a rock and places to run into it, I had to be the one to hit it. A little banged up, but hey, I did it. And you bet your ass I ran right back up there to try it again five days later. <laughs>